All right, so I'm a couple days into my checker hunt here, and so far things have gone pretty well. Uh, we've found quite a few birds, uh, got a few birds in the bag, and uh, the dogs have started to adjust to uh, the spooky birds. And um, We've gotten some snow here, and so conditions change a little bit, but we get some pretty good hunting. I did take the ATV on this trip and it wasn't completely necessary and most days I just hunted out of the truck but there were a few areas that it was helpful to have the ATV so I'm, I'm glad I had it. So we just had some birds get up on us here uh, while the dogs were on point. And that's the next thing you learn, is that the dogs have to be really careful. I mean, my dogs mostly have hunted quail this year, and you cannot put the same pressure on chucker that you can on a quail. So they've got to adjust. There's tons of chucker sign in here. Whoa, whoa. So this turns out to be old scent, but um, during this day, I really noticed the dogs adjusting. We have a, you know, a couple unproductive points and just, you just can really tell that they're trying to be more and more careful and trying to adjust to these spooky birds. Couldn't have a hill already in it. Fucking rock is still going. Still going. So Cece's got a nice point on the first covey of Huns that we run into here. And actually Tubby's backing over to the right, although you can't see him because he blends right in. But as I'm walking on this one, I'm pretty much completely exposed and I know there's just no good way to sneak up on them. And as a result, these birds get up pretty far away. You gotta be kidding me, I hit one of those. Dang it. I know I hit that one. Man, I may have to put a different choke in. These are a lot, much longer shots than I was hoping for. Okay, so this next one's kind of crazy and the next few minutes are pretty interesting. I get an alert that Tubby's on point, um, like about 60, 70 yards, um, but straight down this hill. And it's very steep and very rocky and all that. So it takes me quite a while to get down there. So as I'm slowly climbing down there, um, off to my left, I hear a covey of birds get up, a covey of huns. And I know that's not where Tubby is, so I pull up, but I don't shoot. If you're good at Where's Waldo, you might see him. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out how to approach these birds. Uh, in this stuff, you basically every step you take, you're out of you're out of position. You can't shoot because you're climbing. And so I'm trying to figure out how to get down here. And while I'm doing that, a bird walks out and, and gets up. So, so far on this point, I've had a covey of huns come up to our left. I had a bird get up and walk out, up, out ahead of us, and Tubbs hasn't moved through any of it. So, I just keep making my way down.
Whoa, Cece, whoa. Whoa. Now Cece finally sees him and backs. Alright, so I can tell by the way he looks that the bird is close. And it hasn't moved through all this, so I'm starting to think that it's one of the birds that I nicked a little earlier in this hunt. And that turns out to be probably the case. I think it's a wounded bird. So as I'm sliding down these rocks here, I'm thinking any second this bird is going to come out and I'm not even going to get a shot at it. That's a good boy, Toby. It's not leaving, is it? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, I think I got it! <laughs> Holy shit, I'm just sure I saw feathers. Oh god! I'm on one knee and one foot. This is how this really looks. Holy shit! That was a wounded bird. That's why it didn't want to leave. Oh shit. Oh my God, I can't believe that bird. Come on, bring it in here. Good girl, CC. All right, who's? Well, that was a crazy one, huh? Here's another nice point by CC on some huns, and I finally get one down. I didn't hit this bird real hard, so it sails way down into the valley, so Tubbs has to go way down there and get it. Tubby saw it. Thank goodness. Good boy! Ah, good boy, Tubby. All right, good boy. Yeah, good boy, Tubbs. Good boy. Look what you got, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Loose. Loose. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, our first hunt from out here. That's a long retreat, wasn't it, buddy? <laughs> yeah, you deserve a break. <laughs> oh, man. This place is something else. He's a little hard to see, of course, but I got tubs on point in this draw here, and CeCe's backing. It's hit. It's got to be hit. It's hit. It's down.
Dead bird. So unfortunately, I don't hit this one very hard either, and it sails all the way down into the valley, oh and the God, dogs don't see it at all. So I end up having to pretty much go down there to help lead him to where it is. All right, it took a little while, and we had to come down the hill, but Tubby found it for me. It's a nice bird, too. This is fun. All right, so it was a big day today. Um, there was some good, some bad, and pretty much everything in between, but um, it was, I, I really challenged myself physically today. Um, we did, I did over seven miles and almost 3,000 feet of elevation gain. So a lot of climbing and I am, I am absolutely whipped. I am totally wiped out. Dogs are tired, but anyways, we, um, it wasn't spectacular as far as birds in the bag, but we did see a lot of birds. Um, and one of the good things that happened today was the dogs kind of started to figure out how careful they have to be on these chucker. Um, you know, the last wild birds they hunted were quail. So you can't treat these chucker like you do a quail. Uh, you've got to be much more careful. Um, and they started to put that together today, and that was really good to see them um, really getting more cautious, pointing from farther away, and that's exactly what we needed. So, um, you know, I'm still shooting like crap, and of course it is difficult shooting, no doubt. Um, but uh, so, anyways, we got a couple chucker and a, and a hun today, and saw, saw several cubbies, and so, hey, all around. It's just an awesome day, really cool. You know, one thing I can't stress enough is just how much beauty is in this place. Um, everywhere you look, there's something interesting, something beautiful, um, and every day it changed, every hour it changed, and with the lighting and just just everything, it was really, for a guy from back east, it, it was really enjoyable to be in this place and not to mention the wildlife and everything else that was running around. And mule deer seem to run around this place like stray cats. It's crazy. It's a pretty interesting little ecosystem here. So once again, I'm trying to figure out how to approach these birds here. Um, and I can't see Tubbs, but I know from GPS that he's not far away and he's probably just behind these rocks up here. At the time, I'm able to see him, but he's pretty much completely obscured by this bush. Right there, I think it. That's good boy, Tubby. All right, I got a dead bird right there. All right, so we got the big one, another big one, and then a smaller one. It's right on top of that smaller one. Oh, that was great job, Tubby. Should have had more and I should have hit it better so it wouldn't have flown so far, but we got one down anyway. It's going to be a while before we can get it.
So when this one Tubbs is doing another one of those point and track and point and track things, and and as I look around here, there's just tracks everywhere. Um, they've just been all over this cliff here. So as I'm walking in on this one, I feel like I might have a drop on them this time. Uh, all these tracks lead to this cliff, and I'm hoping that they're just sitting there down the cliff a little ways. So I actually see one of these birds before they flush. And remember, you got to work pretty hard to get after these birds. So don't judge me too hard for my cliff swatting here. I also knocked one down on the wing too, so that made me feel better. Good boy, Tubby dead bird. Over here, buddy. Gotta go this way. He didn't see it. Good boy, Tubby. Over here. Over here. Come on, dead bird over here. We've got birds all over the place. I've got one on this cliff face that's shot that I ground swatted or cliff swatted, you might say. And I've got one either here or there that he did not see as well. So I'm trying to get them all collected here. That's good boy. That's good boy. Come here. Good boy. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy. That's good boy. You found it. That's good boy. Good boy. All right, Luce. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's good boy. That's good boy, Tubby. All right. I don't know which one that was. It wasn't my blown up one. Hey, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Here. Good boy, good boy, Tubby. All right, I know which one that one was. It's one I ground swatted. That's good boy, yeah, that's good boy. Good boy, Tubby. All right, so now I gotta try to make my way down to where the first bird that I shot is. And it's been a while at this point. Well, it took like an hour, or probably more than an hour, but we finally got down there and got the first bird that we shot in this area. So we had that covey. I nicked that bird and it sailed way down the slope. And so anyways, on our way around, shot two more birds up there and got those and then finally got down the hill here where we could, find that bird so Tubby's a dead bird finding machine today well it's another beautiful day out here unfortunately I think we're gonna have to head for home but it's been a great time well we're gonna head for home today gotta to cut it a little bit short um, Cece's got a lump on her side that it's got me a little concerned and I want to get her home to my vet and get it checked out. But uh, hopefully that's no big deal. And um, wow, this trip was was just amazing. I mean, it's just a spectacular place with unbelievable wildlife, tons of birds to hunt, and uh, kind of just whatever you're into, they've got it out here. It's just really, really spectacular. I, I really enjoyed it and I, boy, I hope I get out here again someday. So it turned out the lump on CC's side was just a really bad contusion. 
Uh, she probably got it running around and hit it on a rock or something. Um, so the main thing is she's going to be fine, and I'm certainly relieved about that. So the dogs gave me another great performance on this one. Um, they had a lot of challenges, obviously, between the terrain, uh, birds that really didn't like pressure, and having to make those adjustments and everything. But as usual, they really came through for me, and I'm really proud of them. Well, it's pretty hard for me to put into words just how much I enjoyed this trip. Um, it was everything I had hoped it would be, and more really, um, a true, true adventure. And, you know, it, it's everything from the, the scenery to the wildlife and the diversity of it, um, to the birds, of course, the birds were everywhere, and, you know, it, it's to the challenge that, that these birds present. And then the elation that you get after you're successful. It's really kind of a mind, body, and soul sort of deal. Um, just in every way, I just loved it. And if you're lucky enough to have good health, I'd recommend anybody give this a try. Um, it definitely has its challenges, and it takes a lot of effort. But it's also very rewarding. And just a great experience.